I'm very happy that I cleared it and I didn't make a f complete fool out of myself. Um, but no, that, yeah, I mean, it was a big fence. I think the adrenaline click kicked in quite a bit that I wasn't, and I had a lot more to think about than being scared. Yeah. So, um, yeah, no, I, I mean, I was sort of just wrapped up in that moment. I just needed to get away. I needed time to myself. I think, um, you know, I needed to lose the cameras, lose the mics, lose um, the production of everything going on, and just take time to sit in that moment and figure out what's best for me. Because this is, um, you know, obviously, a television show that people get to live with me but it's also the rest of my life and it's decisions that are going to impact the rest of my life so I wanted to make sure that you know I um, was processing things and doing things that were best for me. I think you know I broke every unwritten bachelor rule possible um, and you know I was fighting for that relationship and uh, I think in that moment you guys see me choose her um, you know I guess moving forward, you're going to have to see, you know, the show does go on. I have an important conversation with Chris. I have an important conversation with my family and my dad um, in regards to the relationships that I'm in and how to navigate and what I need to do. Um, and I'm still working through that and still processing it, but it was definitely emotional. You know, there's still more of it to go. Um, there are still steps that you need to take. Um, but, you know, every relationship moves at different paces, as you can tell on her end. I think moving forward, you're going to see me just figure out what I need to do, um, what I want to do. You know, as The Bachelor, you aren't immune from heartbreak. And mm -hmm. just because you're The Bachelor doesn't mean you're guaranteed a relationship. So there's definitely more to play out, more to come, and some very, very important conversations with um, some people that are going to take place. Yeah.